Everybody who chooses to not live up to their potential today, that's going to be the biggest torture you know, is that every day you knew you could have done more. thing for each day that I hold in my head is don't break character and character breaking character to me is anything off my if I miss any of my steps I broke character broke my word and if I honestly come out of character with people and my intention is to make them feel some type of way feel negative that I came out of character I speak colorfully on my page intention is still to help intention develops perception so I mean people really some people see my channel like this guy's cussing at me and shit making fun of fat people and shit. I'm like, I ain't making fun of them. I used to be overweight and it fucking sucked. It took away my confidence and hurt my soul. I knew I was better. Everybody who chooses to not live up to their potential today, that's going to be the biggest torture you know, is that every day you knew you could have done more. But really, this is how it breaks down. 2.45 a.m. wake up and then gym at four. Come home, first uh, shoot, shoot a YouTube video, and then on my first call at 7. And I have an hour break between calls throughout the day till about 4 p.m. So that's how my day's broken down. I do my own sales through my own CRM, my own click. I do all, all my sales through text. Do all my own fucking sales. I don't even have a sales guy on the fucking phone. Everyone's going to hit me up and say, can I close your sales? I'll make you more money. Please don't tell me you'll make me more money unless you've made more money than me. That's one of the first fucking things. Don't ever tell someone you'll do something for them that you've never done. Everything I'm telling you I do, I'll do, I've done for plenty of people. So if I tell you I'll get ripped, I've done it. If I tell you I'll make six figures in a month for you, I've done it, okay? First month, that's what I'm saying. Awesome, awesome, thank you for that. Uh, anyone else, just raise your hand if you guys have questions. Um, we'll go from there. What we got, hit me with some. Yeah, I got a question. So it's like, um, if you've ever been like in a, in a prolonged rut, or anything like that. What have you done to kind oh, of just get right. out of that? You're, here you go. Your frequency is what you frequently see. Okay. Mm. You're at a low frequency. That's causing the rut. Your perspective is flawed. So you raise your frequency. How do you raise your frequency? Make yourself proud. Get positive thoughts. Your rut is caused because you're an intellectual. You're trying to think your way into positive action. You have to act your way into positive thinking. You're doing it backwards. You're fucking yourself. Powerful. Act your way into positive thinking. Do not think mm. and then just go crush a workout. Do not think and then just walk outside. Go be the source of what you seek. Everyone you come across, pull them out of their rut. Everyone you come across, give love to, give fucking a good exchange to. Pull yourself out of your rut by being what you see, being the source of what you're seeking. What if you see someone who's a little bit down? Go do that for them. The workout is the main thing that'll peak, pull you out past that because you can't be in a peak physical performance state and in a negative emotional state simultaneously. It can't exist. Once you're in peak physical performance, you will not be able to remember all this negative shit you're thinking about. You will separate your, you will, you will alter that state of consciousness by getting into flow state during the physical training. I love that. Awesome. Thank remember you. that your frequency is what you frequently see. What's your name again, bro? Oscar. Never get on Oscar's case. Do not do that. Get on your frequency. Don't say Oscar sucks. Oscar's in a rut. All this. Just when you're feeling low, say, I'm at a low frequency. How do I pick up my frequency? exercise, healthy meal, sunlight, positive exchanges, positive thoughts. Get it done. If you want to feel a certain way, you got to fucking earn that shit. Very powerful. Man. Thank you, Wes. Dude, it's going to work every time, bro. I did in prison in a cell. All these motherfuckers did prison time. But then I looked at them. I'm like, are you sure you did prison time? They don't look like they did it right. They didn't come out jacked. They didn't come out looking right. They didn't really do their time right. Their time did them. I'm like, are you sure you did your time or did your time do you? Big Jeremy, what's up, bro? What's up, man? How you doing? I'm good, man. I'm good. Thank you for, uh, for, for, for dropping some bars on us already, bro. Mm -hmm. What I'm curious about is, is you seem very, like you got very, very clear on your vision very quickly. 100%. What's that process for you? How did my that? Process, I've been, I've been clarifying, my, clarifying my vision since day one. I just don't let society miscue my vision. I know what I'm trying to see. I always wanted to be jacked. So I got to fucking work out. I always like, I always, I acquire what I admire. I can't not look at tattoos, so I'm fully blasted head to toe, okay? And then when I was a kid, I was a drug dealer. I wanted a Range Rover, had one. I had millions of dollars before I went to prison. Went to prison for selling weed and some violence. 
But um, literally, I had to have nice shit. We grew up stressing about the end of the month our fucking whole life. We weren't really poor, but we were barely fucking making it. And my parents were just, it was probably, it probably would have been better to be poor because they were barely making enough to where they were so fucking negative that it just fucked us. Like, we're just like, God damn, can you guys figure it out? So I was just determined to figure it out. So I started hustling and I, you know, I bought, a, uh, I bought like, I drove an Escalade to high school and then I had a Range Rover or the first Range Rover right after that, like the fucking, you know, 50 cent fucking Escalade with the doors up and the, the game video. He's like Lamborghini does on the Escalade. I, I literally had that shit in high school, driving into high school. And I got a Range Rover and I had another Range Rover. And by then I was already going to prison. I had pushed enough weight, been an idiot to where I fucked up. But look at this the whole thing. I always wanted to be a gangster. So I landed myself in prison. I, I wanted to be that way. So whatever the fuck, I got what I wanted. And I, but I always wanted to be successful. I always wanted to be a father. I always wanted nice shit. I always wanted money. I always wanted to be in shape. So I got a blueprint for being in shape, got a blueprint for making money and got a blueprint for being a better man. First thing first, if you don't choose to be the better man first, the other shit will elude you. So if you don't get your habits in line, you will not be able to abide by the blueprint. I could give... The level of self mastery I have, you can give me any blueprint, I'll do it. Like, cause I, I hold my word more than anyone I've ever seen. Like, ever watch my Instagram. I never miss. I will never miss a video, never miss a posting time, never miss a wake up. And that's the thing. That's what people don't get. So, first, self mastery. The man who has a certain level of self mastery can will manifest anything he can visualize. I visualize this in the pen. I visualize having a tattoo model wife. Have it. Visualize living in a penthouse, have it. Visualize two Rolls Royces, two Lamborghinis, have them, okay? And I got the I got the pink slips. Does, it, does everybody got the pink slips? I mean, we're on a sales call, so we might as well. I mean, is it really smart to have the pink slips? Not really. If you can finance it and write it off, but that's a 2020 Rolls Cullinan, 540,000 cash. This is a 2019 Lamborghini Urus. It was 230, 278,000 cash. I just ordered a Huracan and I got a Wraith, but those are the only pink slips I got right here. The Huracan's on its way, but I wasn't going to get the event order, but I got the Huracan. Do I care that much about cars? I like cars, but do they own me? No. And that's the thing. Detachment. All these woke ass people getting rid of their shit. You can have plenty of shit. You can't let your shit have you. My, I'm in front of my shit. If anyone sees Wes Watson, they see Wes Watson, not his shit, because I'm the front row. I don't let my shit own me. But the main thing is you literally master yourself before you ever think you're going to go crush a blueprint because you're in the fucking way. Your mood, right. your fucking, your lack of desire, your lack of confidence, everything that's wrong with you is what's stopping you. Like you could be the best speaker in the world right now if you had enough confidence, enough knowledge, and enough everything. And then you'd be the best salesman because you make the best content, you'd have the best fucking funnel, and you'd have people crushing. Boom, 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 done. So build you up, build you up first. And the thing is, this is a society based on camera phones and videos. If you don't look good, you better start looking better. Cause like mother, you gotta be pattern disruption. Like you gotta disrupt the motherfucking pattern. When everything's scrolling by and they're on YouTube and they see this guy with his shirt off that's huge as fuck with tattoos everywhere and says prison gangs, motherfuckers stop, trust me. But then I talk about a world message and discipline and really teach them. I know how to disrupt the pattern. And then the SEO matches, that prison fucking scores high on the search engine optimization. So, I mean, you drop your, if you're, if you're not a content creator right now and you want to make money, you're tripping. Like, honestly, it's better to have a social media following and not need it than to need it and not have it. And you guys who aren't making a page, that's a problem. You don't validate yourself. You're not validated. You don't think you're badass enough for people to follow you. Why the fuck should they, should they buy from you? You should have a page that's showcasing your life so grand because your life is so grand. It's grand because it's, you're breathing and you want to know something? I was showcasing myself in a prison cell better than most of you guys do out here because I was able to just show me and my habits. And I was more grateful and more proud of where I was at than most of you guys out here. Most of you guys probably won't show your house because you don't think it's good enough. But I was showing a prison cell. Most of you guys won't show your car. You don't think it's good enough. I was showing a prison cell. And if it ain't good enough, then match it. Level it up. I love seeing Mike show his cars and shit, showing the check. He wrote to Ogara right there. I wrote him a bigger check, but I still love seeing him write that check. My check was 278. You know what's up? But I'm just saying, the whole thing is, is you got a vision and what it, 
Anybody who won't pull off their vision is a bitch, straight up. That's what a man should do. Make it a contest. I fucking said it. If I don't pull it off, I'm just a bitch. No other excuse. You're a fucking bitch. You want to be a millionaire? You couldn't do it? Bitch. You want to be ripped? Couldn't do it? Bitch. What? And it's like, fuck. Oh, no, it was this. No, you're a bitch. That's all it is. You were too bitch to think up another way to do it. Oh, you can't make it to the gym? What? You couldn't figure out your, your macros? And you couldn't figure out how to do a home workout to get you ripped? We don't want to look at your mess. Nobody wants to look at your mess. Get your shit orderly and show the fuck up with respect. When Wes Watson pulls up, you know Wes Watson pulled up. That's how it is. I pull up in Cullen and jacked. Like, pull the fuck up. When I pull up to the gym, I pull up to the mirror jacked. Everywhere I pull up, I pull up like a motherfucker. If you're trying to sell shit, you have to tell people what to do. They don't even fucking know what the fuck they want. They don't know shit. You have to tell them. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Wes, for that. Uh, Victory, what you got, man? I think you're muted still. All right. All right. Hey, thank you, Wes, for (coughs) your honesty. I have a question for you. What happens in prison to have fellas that come out kick ass like guys who've never been in? Gratitude, one one fucking word, gratitude, grateful, straight grateful for everything. I'm grateful for that gym. And you guys think it's a torture room. I'm grateful for a nice piece of protein and you want a piece of pizza. Like literally, we're so fucked up in this world. We think everything that builds us is bad for us. That's how bad your guys' minds are. You think you've made something that's best for you wrong in your head. Like people call it a diet. That's food, motherfucker. Like, just because it ain't pizza, it's a diet? That is food. Like, they will die. A diet's negative? No, that means you respect yourself, motherfucker. Motherfucker like me has different definitions for everything. I have different definitions than you guys. A, a properly, per, a perfect day based on the right meals, macronutrients, fats, proteins, carbs. It's going to get me ripped and put muscle on me, make me feel great, put me in optimal state mentally, physically, my energy up. That is my baseline discipline. That is me choosing purpose over pleasure five to seven times a day. If you choose purpose over pleasure five to seven times a day, guess what? When you're about to fuck up something with your finances, you choose purpose over pleasure. You're about to fuck up something in your relationship, you choose purpose over pleasure. You hardwire the frontal lobe to be able to be that man who in the moment chooses purpose over pleasure. That's just on the meals. I go to the workout not to be jacked. I go to the workout to raise my rate of vibration, to get that positive mental attitude, because I got to come shoot this video. I got to come bring my best to everyone. I know I was meant to be more. That's the point. Like, so I be more. I go act into it. And the wake up time, that's gratitude for life. How many motherfuckers hear their alarm clock go off and say no? God damn. You say no when your alarm clock goes off? You get to get up, motherfucker. I got up for two years straight in a shoe cell. The shoe, the fucking secure housing unit by myself. I've been on lockdown for six years out of the 10. Caught an in-house fucking manufactured weapon case. Got a SBI on an inmate. Did 28 months in the shoe. 14, did 10 months, eight days on the first one. On the second one, the same shit. But the whole thing is, is when you can't walk out that cell and nobody comes around and you're just by yourself, trust me, that alarm going off. To just walk to the gym even sounds pretty fucking good. And that's how I started. Since I got out, I never missed a fucking day. And I documented all of it. That's the good thing about the internet you guys don't get. You get to show your trust. You get to build trust in your brand by telling them you'll do something and documenting it every day. Trust me, a lot of people will show up just to see you miss. I bet half the people who follow me show up just to see if I'll miss. I'll never fucking miss. Three things that you would say we better do if we want to get where you are. Hold your word to yourself every fucking day, no matter how small it is. If you said, I'm going to start that workout and that diet on the first of the year, and you're not, you're already losing trust in self. If you lose trust in self, you'll have no trust in my word. And if my word is what would get you there, because I did it myself, you're not going to believe it. People think I'm a bot half the time. They're like, is this a bot? And I say, fuck you, would a bot talk like that? And they're just all, oh, I guess it is, Wes. And they're like, no, real dope sales tactic. Yeah, quit being a fucking bitch. I'm going to coach you before I even take your money, homie. And the guy's like, damn. And I'm like, what? Broke people have trust. People with trust issues are always broke. They don't trust themselves. They don't trust no one else. They don't even trust to go research on the internet. I built my entire business off internet research, Google. 
My entire business was built off of Google. And now people pay me 7,500 bucks for everything they can fucking Google. But they can't put it together. They don't have the ability and the patience to put it together or the trust in themselves. They don't even trust themselves to read something and believe it'll work. And if they tried to Google it all, then they would buckle getting on camera because they don't have the confidence. Now I'd have to find a way to instill the confidence in them. And usually the getting on camera part is really getting them to not be so selfish. Like they're like, I don't want to make content. I don't like the way I sound. I don't like the way I look. Well, the content is supposed to help people. So you making it about you, you're a piece of shit. Selfish. Shut the fuck up. The content is meant to help them. Why the fuck are you worried about you? It's not even congruent at that point. My, that's why I don't give a fuck. I'm always going to make shit. I'm never going to stop myself because it's not about me. Like motherfuckers are going to die if they don't hear my message. I get a thousand messages a day. Wes, you save my life. Save my life. Save my life. Save my life. And it's like, Family, fitness, finance, mind, body, soul. I've healed people in plenty of fucking ways. I mean, brought people life-changing. A motherfucker came to me. He was fat, drinking. His, his marriage was in shambles. By the time he was done with like 18 months with me, he had made $300,000. He had a six-pack and a new path and a new purpose. And this oh, is dude. not one person. This is all of them. Nicely done. Hey, you did this to me, and everybody here knows this. Validating one's effort in goaltending to be dream reaping for success, you must validate with intent filled with attention consumed by concentration every step. Every step. Okay. Well, that's it. My, my whole thing is just complete flow state and adherence to the moment. So I, I really don't even, I don't even want freedom. So I, I don't want freedom. You guys all want freedom. I don't. And I have multiple exotic cars downstairs. And let's just say, just in this account that I shouldn't have this in, but I like to do this to people just cause. So I just opened my Chase account, it's opening and it's January 11, 2000. It's got a million bucks chilling in there right there. Just, just a million bucks for you right there in my Chase account, in my Chase account. But uh, the thing is, I leave that in there. I lose sometimes $26,000 a month because I have one account with 4 million in it that does 26% annually, a Brett account, B-R-E-I-T, Blackstone, income trust. Yeah. So. I'm losing a lot of money for keeping that in there, but I keep it in there to help people see that a million dollars ain't fucking shit. And I did it in four fucking years, not just a million. That's just one of the millions sitting there. I did it in four fucking years after they let me out and I had a massive criminal record. Like literally attempted fucking murder, fucking home invasion, fucking assault, deadly weapon, robbery, rob, burglary, battery, the whole fucking night. The whole, the whole purpose is, is that you remove yourself from all this. I don't want to do anything for me. My life is purpose focused. I have one purpose, which is to teach people how to be the best self by mitigating desire, like getting rid of everything that's keeping them from where they're going. So the true definition of sacrifice is trading that of a lesser nature for that of a higher nature. Are you guys trading the beats you want right now for the body you really want? Are you trading right now the relaxation for the money you really want? Like, what are you, what are you sacrificing? I don't want freedom. Sleep. Yeah, I mean, I, I get up at 2.45 every morning, so I feel you there. But I don't even want freedom for my purpose because Wes, Wes Watson is just ego, desire, boredom, all wants. When I transcend me and I'm just the energy that I am being called from above to execute this purpose down here, then I'm free. You guys actually live in this world. The sensory world where everything's tangible. There's bills, there's cars, there's this, there's all this stress. That's where nothing gets done. There's no creativity there. But once you get into flow state with your art, with your writing, with anything you do that makes you not notice time as it passes by, that's where everything comes from. And I exist there 24 seven. I don't even try to move my business forward. I just exist in flow state and wait till it comes to me. And my one, I brought something that brought like an extra 3 million to my business this year. And I was just trucking along, doing my thing. And then one of my clients said, hey, can you teach me how to do what you do? I'm like, oh, yeah, no problem. Turn it into a new business. I just let it happen naturally. I don't even fucking sit there in a board meeting and plan all this shit, forcing that shit. I just be the best me every day, walking in line with what I know best, putting my best forward. And it all comes to you when you have correct intentions and a massive drive. Thank you very much. 100%, bro. You don't have money problems. You have creativity problems. Nobody has money problems. They have creativity problems. There is the internet. Nothing is holding anyone back. I don't care what state, country, or wherever the fuck you're from. Like, you're just not seeing that these motherfuckers 
can have the same blank squares as you and fuck you off. And you sat there sitting on your fucking thumb. Like literally everyone has a bunch of white blank squares when they start social media. Why the fuck am I at the top of this fucking building with a motherfucking Submariner 18 carat on showing you a million bucks in my account when I was the one in prison? Like I just created this thing out of, I was so creative in my creative space, not worried about bills, not worried about what Johnny's talking about or that TV show. I was just so creative. I created this shit and fucking changed a bunch of lives with what? Everything that worked for me. I just sat back and said, guess what? This worked for me. I'm going to tell them about it. This worked for me. I'm going to tell them about it. So what I really did was looked at areas I had pain. I healed that pain and taught others to do the same. Didn't like my body, healed it, taught them it. Didn't like how my mind was running, healed it, taught them it. Didn't like how I drank and didn't want to drink no more and did drugs, healed them, taught them it. Didn't like how little money I had, healed that, taught them it. Alrighty, alrighty. You the bomb. Not I, I appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome here. How do you find, what's the best way to find like your purpose and how do you- You're your purpose. Your you're your purpose. You're your greatest asset. Your purpose on this planet is to create the man you admire in all ways and give him to the world. Create the man you admire and always give him to the world. Do you admire a man who's muscular? Be one. Do you admire a man who has money? Get it. Do you admire a man who has who doesn't drink? He ain't some lush ass broad of a man sipping his fucking shit. Woo! Fucking being a clown. I admire a hard ass man who ain't playing fucking games, who's down for his family, who's down for the shit. A man motherfucking has to be Jack. Men ain't soft where I'm from. Mm -hmm. Motherfucking soft ass man smack that motherfucker. Straight <laughs> up. That motherfucker should smack himself. For being soft, bust his shirt off, watch how much confidence he had. Half these motherfuckers you speak on camera, I'll just take their shirt off on camera and we'll see who they really are. They'll be all, oh, <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Wake the fuck up, dude. You got to get rid of, you got to extinguish all doubt, all of it, to where when you roll up, you know the value you're bringing. You walk in this coffee shop and say, I build houses. Everybody should know me. Next guy walks in. I own a CBD company. Everyone should know me. I walk in. I say, I save lives, motherfucker. Everybody should know me. So mm -hmm. I trump everyone everywhere I go. I don't care if you're a billionaire. I save lives. Mm -hmm. I'll save your life. I'll save the billionaire's life. That billionaire's life shit. I work with a lot of billionaires. Their lives suck. Motherfuckers are trashed. They're drinking to numb their pain. They're fucking up their relationships. They're fucking not in control. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. They're only good at money. They ain't good at them. Or else they'd already be teaching people how to do that. There's a few. There's a few that got it. Right. I got. I got one more. How do you? How do you stay consistent and motivated and have that discipline every day? I got one answer, bro. I look down right between my legs. I see a dick and some nuts, and I get it going. I get up. I look down at a dick and some nuts, bro, and I get the fuck up and go. Like that, yes, sir. <laughs> that that's that's always been my answer. These motherfucking men nowadays make me sick. Even the women here should be like, yeah, what the fuck's wrong with my dude? Like, literally, like, <laughs> you like literally have your dude watch me and be like, yeah, that is kind of crazy. Like, this dude's slacking. Like, what kind what? I have these guys come through my funnel and they can't even afford a $300 program. And it would change their life. Like, I would fucking teach Mary. They can't. I'm like, what the fuck type of man are you? You don't got 300 bucks. I'm like, I'll send you 3000 and then I'll come sock in your face just to show you how stupid you are. Like, there's no fucking way that a man should have trouble with $300. Like, you shouldn't even have trouble with $300,000. I get there's a learning curve, but, three, dude, no. Like, no. I can get a motherfucker there, but guess what? Most motherfuckers don't like the time. It's going to take a while. It's going to take a while. Some people are quicker than others. I had some famous ass motherfucker hop on my business coaching program the other day. Everybody in here knows who he is. I taught him online coaching in like one hour phone call. In five days, he had $30,000, you know. He didn't even want to invest the 3000 He's going to fuck up his whole life. But he's just all like, like, oh, is it going to work? He had all these questions. I said, listen, motherfucker, if you ask me one more question, I'm hanging up the fucking phone. And he had already done my other program first where I got him fit, I got him sober, and I got his life in line. And he was killing it. He's doing great. Now he already pitched the program. He has 562,000 followers. So that's the lesson. Build your fucking social media platform. Your social media is your resume to the world. Are you really still walking up? To, are you really still walking up to a single desk and being like, hey, can you hire me? Like, what the fuck is that? I've never filled out one of those in my life. Like, I want my resume is going on fucking $80,000 worth of ads a month going out. 
every fucking piece of content I put out. My Instagram page is my resume. My YouTube channel is my resume. All the people speaking for me and putting me forward, that's my resume. Dude, build your social media platform like your life depended on it. It does. Like any of you guys who don't put all, everything that was valuable to you on social media, you're fucking tripping. You get valuable shit off social media, but then you don't put it back on there? The fuck is that? Hey, fire it, fire it, fire it. You are your greatest asset, big dog, and you're your purpose. Create the man you admire, give him to the world. Whatever you're visualizing of you at your highest level, you have to do it. If you don't do it, you won't fulfill your destiny. You'll miss one of the beats. You'll, you'll end up rich and skinny fat, and your chick will just like you for your money. It's just what it is. You'll fuck your whole life off. You'll hope, you're hoping you won't, but the thing is, is whatever you validate yourself with in your heart is what people want from you. I validate myself with my character, my work ethic, my drive, my consistency, my love, my ability to fucking stay so to my word. It's crazy. If you validate yourself with your money, that's what they're going to want from you. Watch out. Go to a rich person's page and validate himself with money. What is everyone talking about in the comments? Come to my page. I have money. I show money. What are they talking about in the comments? Your validation drives them to you for that. What you validate yourself with. Anyone? anyone I got one for you, Wes. What is, uh, what is one thing that you learned like later in your career that you wish you knew like starting off uh the proper pricing i see people try to drop programs and their pricing is so fucking stupid i got on a call with someone who had eight hundred ninety thousand followers the other day he dropped a program for 44 dollars. i'm like what the fuck are you doing don't do that and he's like what we got 200 sales i'm like those were all thousand dollar sales you got 44 bucks bro what are you doing when I first dropped my shit, I was so stupid. I said, $250, one month of coaching. I did 15 grand that month. I would have made 150 grand if I had my pricing how I have it now. First person comes on, boom, I'm going for the elite sale. I'm going for the 7,500 for three. If they ain't got that, I'm going for the 3,000 for one month. If they don't got that money, we're going to try to hit them with the coaching financing. 150 bucks for the 7,500. For 150 out of pocket for 7,500. 650 credit score, 40,000 a month, they're qualified. Boom. If they don't want to do that, they don't want to uh, get, they don't want to get a uh, finance. They don't want to come out of pocket that much. I got the other program. The other program is two ninety nine a month, seven fifty for three, twelve ninety nine for six, two thousand for a year. That's a banger. That's a mid level program. And then if those people don't buy, they fall into the CRM and they get hit with the email sequence for my big dog, which is my program that has eleven thousand three hundred people on it at forty seven bucks a month and clocks in over five hundred grand a month. Just that one that I don't even touch. I'll build that one into 100,000 100, people at 47 bucks a month. It'll make 4.7 million a month. And I ain't going to change my life at all. I don't give a fuck. There'll be a bigger house, but I'll still be up at 245. I'll still track all my meals. I'll still stay ripped because I'm doing it for everybody else. At this point, I'm doing it for everyone else. It doesn't do anything for me. I'm not going to go do anything else. I'm not going to be in Hawaii wooing. I'm not going to fucking start drinking. I'm not going to fucking just... Go fucking show up, do everything that fucks everyone over. I'm going to make sure I'm the prime example of how to be. And if people can't look through the cussing, then they have very low EQ. Anyone who can't look through who I seem to be and what I'm saying and see the real message, your EQ is so low, you're fucked. Like you better sharpen up your emotional intelligence. You better sharpen up the way you sense someone's vibe. Anyone in here who's like that, drop that shit. It'll burn you. The people who have high EQ are going to smash Everybody with a high IQ coming to these next phases. Awesome. Thank you, Wes, for that victory. Do you have, a, you have another question, my man? I was just thinking some of the objections that we get and, you know, mainly no money. And But he, I think he just explained that. You know, yeah, fi financing, you financing through someone. But um, I really just bag on them. I'll just be like, you're a bitch. You ain't got no money. That's crazy. Get the fuck out of here. Like, I don't care. I don't, I don't need, because that's what they need to know. Like, how are you ready to do this program if you weren't even ready enough to go make the 10 grand? Like, so you're going to run some crazy business and you haven't even made 10 grand in the trenches? How the fuck are you going to run the business then? Like, go earn your spot by making the, the 7,500 in the trenches and then you'll fucking do it. You have to pay to pay attention. I could break it all down for free to a motherfucker and they ain't going to pay attention. They got it free. It's like everything else they got in their life. Free 99. I never got shit for free. Larry got out of prison with 200 bucks in a vision. When you hit that gate, they give you 200 bucks gate money. I went and bought a pair of chucks and a gym membership. Said, watch this. Yeah. Watch this shit.
I think I got the same chucks right here. I really only own one pair of shoes. Mm-hmm. I got way more cars than I got shoes. Love it. Who's got something else? Come with a fire question, you guys. Is- what kind of personal development um, content that, that you like, like that you've uh, read? It's had an impact on personal development content. Um, 177 mental toughness secrets of the world class. Steve Siebold. Another one would be like Napoleon Hill. Anything Napoleon Hill. Um, Seven habits of highly effective people. And then my book coming out, non negotiable by Wes Watson. 10 years Thank incarcerated, you. uh, breaking the unbre- building the unbreakable mindset. I'll be out soon. We're about to. Oh, shit, I just got the fucking uh, I just got the landing page. For the fucking the the pre book order, I just got it. I just go. came to, it just came to right now. Oh, boom! There it is. There's the landing page. We're gonna do the pre order. Okay. You write a book. You gotta write a book right. Don't write a book wrong. Do the pre sales. Do the pre sales as long as you need to, till you get the ten thousand copies or eleven thousand copies sold. Eleven thousand copies sold. Then you make it live. You sell a couple more copies. Now you hit every bestseller list. These other idiots just dropped their book. They're like, what happened? I didn't even do anything right. Yeah, you didn't know what the fuck you were doing. Make sure you do your research on everything by asking the top people to tell you the tips. Like I showed the pink slips to my cars. You don't have to do that. Like you're probably better off like I did with the rape. Put down 50,000, write the whole fucking car off that was 300,000 and pay a fucking payment on it. Use that cash flow to flip for the business. I mean, like... But sometimes I just pay them off because I fucking uh, gets the wrong time of year and I owe too much at the end of the year. So I come down there at like December 30th. I'm like, dude, I have to buy something right now. And I just fucking buy the shit cash, get the money out of the account. But yeah, you can still do that financing wise. But if you wait too long, they're going to fucking take too long to get you finance. There's just so many tips, bro. It's like, I, it's, a, it, it's too fucking easy, but it seems so fucking hard, like, because people don't validate themselves with their daily steps. They want the result. I don't even really do anything. I just do this. I love this. I'm in flow state right now. I could never be happier than right now. Like this is when you, when you're in flow state, you don't notice time as it passes by. That's what you're supposed to be doing. And if you work out hard enough, you will be in flow state. When you're, when you're writing, you will be in flow state. Like right now I'm in flow state. Like this is where we're supposed to be. This is our optimal state as humans. If you're literally, if you're always stressed about shit, and you're always we're looking at the time and everything like that. Dude, this is not how humans are supposed to live. You're not productive there. You reminded me of Bruce Lipton's book, Biology and Belief. We yeah. live longer with stress than anything I, else out there. I, I always turn those books around, though. All those, okay. guys who, all those guys who know all that shit, I turn the book around, and I make sure I want to look like the guy writing the book. And if I don't, I throw the book away. Wait, wait, wait. Don't look like Bruce Lipton. No, don't look yeah. like Bruce Lipton. That's what I'm saying. These, these guys know all this shit. They know all this shit, but they don't do it. <clears throat> so they'll, they'll talk about discipline and alignment and all this shit. I'm like, what? You were aligned with this, homie? This is what you were aligned with. This? Fuck. You must not get it. And they're like, oh, well, it's not about the physical body. Okay, now you're lying. Like, you wouldn't feel better if you looked better? They're like, yeah, but What's next? Thing? I don't got no time or, or I don't understand that I'm choosing a burrito over something healthy. Like hit me with your objections, homie. Like Jordan Peterson. I love him, but like, God damn, is he really an alpha? I mean, really? Like, is that dude really like the term of an alpha? Does he look like an alpha to anybody? I'm not so sure. Love him. Love him to death. Feel a lot of pain in his writings. Like feel him. Yeah. You know, I feel it, but like, you can't really talk about alphas looking like that. You look like a tall drink of water, skinny ass white dude. I mean, it's just not even alpha to me. Awesome. Thank you, Wes. Ellis Sean, what you got, man? Yeah, hell yeah. I love this shit. This is what I live for to teach I other people. A lot of positive energy coming off you. And I really appreciate the, the fact that you're dropping so many bars in here. Uh, my question to you is. Uh, what's, what's the roughest part about staying, staying at that high frequency and, uh, Oh, the roughest part by far is you are not at all able to engage in life with normal people. So like any, everything everyone else does is so low frequency, like watching a game at a bar, fucking drinking, fucking eating some bullshit food. Like you're going to be alienated from everything when you operate at such a high frequency. You're, you're only going to be able to do actions that are like that. And people are going to think you're fucking weird. They're going to be like, you don't like to have fun. I'm like, Fulfilling my purpose is real fun to me. It's the funnest thing. 
like every day I have all these things to do to be better and I pull them off. It's really fun. Uh, I mean, and then the outcome is anytime anyone needs help, I can do it. I mean, I get to buy anything I want. If you think that's fun. I mean, I'll be honest, it really doesn't do anything for me, but I still do it all the time because I'm aware of my brand and I know how to really affect change in the world. So this is how idiots do it. They don't understand that we all operate from a collective whole. So we all operate from a collective consciousness, a collective whole. And the frequency of us all, since we're all touching, like separateness is an illusion. Me and you are touching. So my energy, you feel. So everyone is bouncing off each other. So for me to not be at a low frequency, I have to choose high frequency and everyone else does. That's why they have global meditation to raise and heal the world, to raise their frequency. So all these idiots who think they're woke, they avoid negative people. I don't because I know if we have to lift, if I want to lift you, then I have to work on the negative people, lift them so we can all lift as one. We're all connected and people don't get that. They're like, oh, the energy vampires. I'm like, uh, you're supposed to work on the negative people because in all reality, there's a global frequency that's either low or high. And it usually happens in cycles. You'll see like during like a, a long weekend where people had like a three day weekend and they binge ate and binge drank and everything Monday, it's real low. The vibe's low. When you look at social media, the views are low. The engagement is low. Everybody's hiding. Wes Watson isn't, he knows his job. He goes out and does more that day. He's like, I'm going to do my job. I'm going to lift everyone. When you heal yourself, you heal others. When you heal others, you heal the world. But the first thing you got to ask people before you heal them, you ask them if they're ready to get rid of what made them sick. And most people, they don't fucking get that everything they do is making them sick. Their thoughts are making them sick. Their food's making them sick. Everything they're doing is fucking causing them to fall into the rut like uh, like homie Oscar was talking about. Bars. <laughs> and it sounds like you've dug deep into that heart, man. Oh, dude, I've, I literally live in... I during When I was in isolation, I, I would have better days than out here in this penthouse. <laughs> I would, just hurt. I, would, I would crush it so hard in my workouts. I would make myself so proud by living a hard day and overcoming all this shit that I put in front of myself. But people were like, you have to self-inflict adversity to train yourself. So if you self-inflict adversity, then you have the ability to know it's coming and then match your self-talk to the fact that you're pumped that you overcame it. If you don't learn to do that, everything difficult you'll talk bad about. If you talk bad in your head about shit that's difficult, you'll talk yourself out of it. So Ooh, self inflicting nice. adversity and then, and then making yourself talk aligned with the outcome, it prepares you for any event that's coming your way. But I just, I make sure everything is perfectly in line. I get up and I just go every day and it ain't for me. Like, fuck me. I don't give a fuck about me. Like I tell, it says, do not resuscitate on my ID. I'm done. When I'm done, I'm done. But the thing is, I really just, live for other people. I wake up. If I, if Wes Watson doesn't get up and post at two forty five, the world's fucking ending. Like you have to really live to lift other people. You have to live. You're living outwardly speaking to the collective whole. Most people watch my content, say they hear my voice in their head. Cause I do that on purpose. I speak to a different plane where everybody hears my voice in their head. They don't, they don't read it or see it. Like I speak to a different reality than they know and that's why they're like dude i hear your fucking voice whenever i I'm grab my fridge and you're like men don't have kids and it's like makes me not grab the fridge because men don't have titties you know it's like it's just real shit it's real factual we're just keeping it real sure thank you wes uh mr logan burdine what you got yeah i i was not in here the entire time i have popped in halfway short so maybe my question might have already been answered but when you first started your journey as an entrepreneur, what was, what was the biggest things to like really motivate you and get you into that, that flow peak that you had touched on a little bit with victory? I really didn't try to do any of this. I came out and I just documented what I was proud of. So I came out and I really just documented that I got up early. I went to the gym. I wasn't using nothing. I was in shape. I was in control. And I was disciplined as a motherfucker. Everything I was proud of, I documented. And then people were like, can you teach me that? I'm like, yeah. Can you teach me that? Yeah. And then I just saw that it was that valuable because everybody's pain came from their lack of discipline. Literally, mm. everything, everything comes from discipline. Like, if you're, if you're having trouble mentally, 
If you're disciplined enough, you can choose the positive thought instead of the negative one. If you're having trouble with your body, you can choose to eat this food over this one. So if I make you so disciplined and then give you a blueprint, you'll be rich in the a lot of time as it takes, but you'll, you'll have it. Thank you. Oh, that was awesome. Outdo everybody, you know, like literally like sacrifice more than them and do it with better energy, better self-talk and a better attitude. And in all reality, just be proud that you'll do more. No, oh, absolutely. I, I, I fully agree to that. that. That's one thing that I like about, about this type of, I guess, job career is it, it opens the opportunities of what you're able to do, especially as far as helping others. Like for me personally, I like being able to go to the store or going to like a coffee shop and being able to tip an abnormal amount of money, knowing that I'm making my I got my own beard money. trimmed yesterday and I gave him a hundred bucks. It was like, he didn't even do anything. Exactly. Well, not really to cut it. He just went like, meh, 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 meh. And I was like, I just gave him a hundred bucks. But I mean, that's not a big tip or nothing. But I'm just saying, like, I'm able to do a lot for my family. You know, like wife's birth, our, our anniversary. I'm like, yeah, just go spend 15 grand in the mall. Go like get whatever the fuck you want. You know, I mean, obviously I buy half million dollars cars cash and this type of shit. I feel like building yourself up is the best way to actually help people. So you come in as this, massive figure who's done so much and accomplished so much that the best thing you can give them is your time. So a lot of people in here, like they hear material shit and they, and they hear stuff like that. Maybe not here, but a lot of people, they shy away from like braggers, supposedly, or people who show off. But in all reality, the people who show off are the people who are more humble. The people who don't show you anything are very, they're not humble at all. They actually will not give you any of their time. They don't want you to know they're rich. They don't want to help you. They don't want to talk to you about nothing. They want you to stay the fuck away from them. That's why they're not showing you anything. The people who put all their stuff out there and they're showing you their stuff, they're showing you everything, they're teaching you shit, they have time for you, they have energy for you, those are the humble people. So every time you see someone who thinks they're humble because they're not showing their money, they're actually the biggest asshole because they made it really far in life and they're not teaching anybody it. I'll teach everybody shit. I'll show them how I did it up front so they can ask me, Wes, how'd you get that car? I will sit there and tell them everything right then. Go ask some rich dude who's trying to hide from you how much money he has, how he got his money. He'll fucking shoot your ass. He'll be like, get the fuck away from me. He's so fucking scared. He's so goddamn scared about you. You don't even want to get your money there. I live in the building with them. I live at the top of the building of all these rich people and they have to see my ass park all my cars here. And then I get, I press 39 and they press like 34 and they thought they were being all frugal. They got like the, the, the date just roll, like the stainless. I just got the stainless one. It's like, motherfucker. So, so are you going to humbly brag to me? Like the humble brags, the awesome one. They brag about being humble. Not too humble of you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> They're fucking hilarious. Oh, I poke holes in all their shit and all my content, everything that people think that they thought was something, I have literally flipped it around. Like everything that everyone thinks they know, I, I flip it on its head. The only reason people tell you to be humble is because you're injuring their fucking ego because your car hurts their feelings. Like, why don't you be more humble? It's like, so my existence is injuring your ego that bad? God damn. They're insecure. So on your level up, you're going to meet two people, the ones you inspire and the ones you make insecure. Help both of them. Fuck it. Mm. Yes. Awesome. How are, Wes, how are you doing on time? I know we're approaching the hour mark. You got a hard stop or you can go a little over. I don't give a fuck. I'm down. I, I love this shit. It's life to me. Bro. <laughs> I love that. I love that. It's I got like, a quick, I quick if, question. If I, if I meet like a dude the other day, I was, I was at this coffee shop. That was like two weeks ago. This bum goes, what the fuck? I didn't even know they make SUVs as a Rolls Royce. I'm like, I didn't even know bums knew what Rolls Royces were. Shit. <laughs> and he got, like a, he got like a chest tattoo. And I knew he'd been in prison. And he's like, what do you do? And I, I start talking to him. I'm like, oh, he's like, how do I do it? I'm like, you quit fucking drinking, bro. And he's like, <laughs> he's like, oh, but this and that. I said, no, but I just got out of prison. I did 10 years. When I quit doing all the bullshit, I put all my energy towards the right shit. And he's like, okay. And I just keep talking to him until he starts crying and shit. And I'm like, and I give him my number. I'm like, you fucking, you get your life together. I'll help you out. And then I talked to him for like 45 minutes. And uh, these people next to him, like this girl came up, she had like her baby. And she's like, dude, my husband, he was your biggest fan. And I'm like, what the fuck? They're like, we just watched you talk to that bum for 45 minutes. 
what the fuck? That was amazing. He's like, he's trying to like hand me this baby. And I'm like, what the shit? And mm -hmm. I'm, like, I'm like, hey, I'm glad. And she, she said her husband recently died. And this was his son. I'm like, oh my God, it's crazy. Oh, but long story short, I share the same amount of time with everybody. My, my boy, who just sent me this funnel for my book. And he works for me now. Um, we were in the gym and we were talking about click funnels. I said it out loud to someone or something. And he goes, you know about those? And I talked to him for like, two hours. He's like, someone at your level doesn't talk to anyone for two hours. Be that guy. Go. Let's move over to uh, Tiffany. Hey, I'm sorry. I was on mute. Um, so thank you so much for taking my question. Um, so what I was curious to know is that, you know, a lot of my family and friends are very supportive of me doing this. They see, you know, I, I can be an executor in the game when it comes to business. However, I have like epiphanies with people that I do know that are very close to me and I know that they have the potential to do this is there anything I could do I know you can't change people but is there anything that I can do to um inf them to know I know they can make it here I yeah, it's, it's, basically you know yeah. basically you personify the teaching till others wish to learn so once you're really killing it at the highest level they'll ask you like when you when you build yourself up bigger and bigger and bigger and then they'll ask you I mean, when you're in the, when you're, I don't know where you're at financially, but, or, or in life, but you have to crush it in every area so that at least one of your areas, they want the information for They're like, Oh, how'd you get fit? Oh, how'd you get rich? Oh, how'd you stop drinking? You have to be across the board successful. The rich guys in my building want to know how I got my arms so big. The, the rip guys in the gym want to know how I pulled up in a Rolls Royce. Everybody right. wants to know something from me because I excel at everything. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank Across you. the board success. Absolutely. I totally agree. Because then, then you get the gateway and you can give them the information. They can try it. But I'm like, right. whoa, you really, you really helped me with my drinking. That's awesome. And then they're mm -hmm. like, then they just, you built that trust. Right, right. For sure. Thank you. Thank so you so much. much. Awesome. Awesome. Let's move over to, uh, is it Sophia? Hi. Um, okay, so my question is, um, I mean, I hear you. I mean, your energy is incredible and I love it. Can you hear me? Yeah, I got you. Okay, okay. Yeah, and I love your energy and everything. But um, so my question is like, um, so what are your take on like spirituality and meditation? Um, I practice uh, well, that. Is, was, so, so. Was, one question when you were in jail was there any moment of that you have this kind of awakening or something that you say i'm gonna crash it i know when i get out of there you have that certainty that yeah, it's kind of it, it was it was just a multitude of steps that got me there but the main thing is to realize meditation is just a vessel to get you into flow state it's a tool so there's yeah. plenty, plenty of tools that get you into flow state make sure you use the tools that are beneficial most to you I always tell people, like, I basically wake up and I read and I reflect because I want to be better at reading and I want to be better at writing and reading and, and do all my shit. So I'll read something real quick and I'll reflect on my Instagram. I'll give to the world what I, my reflection is and people, it'll be valuable to people. I want to be valuable to people. Make sure you spend most of your time in what's most valuable to you. So if I want to be in a meditative state, I can get that through working out reading, writing, giving, anything like that. I'm in a meditative state right now. Everything I do is meditative. Everything I do externally is constructing me internal. But the main thing is I never wanted to look like my favorite meditation guy. So I don't spend time meditating. I get meditation in that breakthrough through my workouts, through my reading, through my writing, through all the stuff I'm doing to simultaneously build me into what I need to be and my business. So, I mean, most people like they'll, They'll want to like go on this quest to like be, be something. It's like, you don't have to travel. You don't have to do any of that. Everything's like within you. So just the main thing is not just knowing that essentially the state you become, you come into meditating should one day be your permanent state. It's become my permanent state to where I said, I don't want freedom for my purpose because I live in an attachment with higher intelligence. Like I lived attached to infinite intelligence. If you watch a lot of my videos, I don't even blink. Like I'll talk for 15 minutes and not blink one time. And that's when you know someone is fully locked in. Like they're not considering self. So the second most people consider self is when they do that. But the, the and while I'm saying that's making me blink because I'm noticing that I'm me. But when you when you transcend you, you won't even blink. You'll just be boom, just locked in. Impressive. So, 
But the main thing is, is perpetuating flow state. So don't break flow state for nothing when you get in it. So when you're working out flow state, when you're writing flow state, when you're doing your art flow state, meditation flow state, when you're in this call, don't break it, just stay there. Don't remember the sensory world. They say the highest of cosmic beings, they only know their existence by what they transmute. So you would only know you exist by how you push others. So you would do nothing for you other than everything that would build you to push people more. So every rep you did at the gym was to push people more. Every dollar you made is to push people more. Everything you're doing is to push and build people more, which in turn would bring you back everything more. Love that. Thank you. Thank you so much. Great. I got, I got one for you and then we'll move over to Amir. Um, how would you compare your mindset before prison to after? Oh, I was a bitch. Before prison, I was the biggest bitch. Like, if I wanted to drink, I was drinking. If I wanted to eat a carne asada burrito, I'm eating. If I want to fucking do this, I'm doing it. Like, that's what success is. I do what I want because I'm successful. And you guys who think you're going to do what you want because you're successful, you're an idiot. And you're going to lose during your winning season. Most motherfuckers lose during their winning season because they don't keep doing what got them winning. That's the problem. So, I mean, my mindset now is to stay with exactly what built me, and it's me. Like, you could take all my stuff, but you'll never take me. I will always be successful in everything I do. I was a pro snowboarder before I was a pro drug dealer. Before I came out, was a pro-ass coach. I have a pro mindset, pro commitment, and a pro level of fucking discipline. Build the internal attributes so that you can stick to any blueprint. Don't just try to master a blueprint and let you fall off. Then you said your assets were the asset and not you. Everyone who just has money and they're not killing it, them, they're saying that their assets are the asset and they're not the asset that got assets. Awesome. Thank you for that. Amir, what you got? Hey, Wes, I just want to first say thank you so much for your time, man. I yeah, yeah. I love it. It's um, life. Absolutely. So my question was, I guess it's kind of like, like Sophia's question. So like, I, I gotta say, I love the energy and like the altitude, you kind of, you know, keep through the, you know, even here. And I'm assuming like, you know, you kind of try and keep that altitude during like a, you know, a phone conversation or a conversation. Well, yeah, the, the, that, the whole thing is, is your frequency is what you frequently see. Like I said, at the start, mm -hmm. if you stay at a high frequency, you see only solutions and only positive outcomes. And you only see how you're totally going to crush your shit. So, I mean, frequency is what you frequently see. When you're at a low frequency, your self-doubt's creeping in. You're not going to believe it. You're, 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 there's no way it's going to work. You only see problems. You have to stay at a high frequency to only see solutions. And if you operate a business from low frequency and scarcity, you draw in people who operate from low frequency and scarcity. Oh, I don't want it. 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 But if you're at a high frequency crushing it, you don't even care. And life's amazing. Hell yeah, I want it. Hell yeah, I want it. Hell yeah, I want it. You're, you're drawing in everybody from your frequency. Like frequencies can't vibrate. So if you see negativity, you're negative. You're negative if you see negativity. If you are positive, you'll see negativity as positive. You'll be like, I can help that person. I got this. I'll help that person. I have like a messiah complex, you know? So like that negative person, I see that as like a challenge and I'll help them. They need me. Other people are like, get the fuck away from me, you negative fucking person. <laughs> if, if you see negativity as negativity, you're negative. You're vibrating with that frequency. When you're up here, negativity can't even get you. Those frequencies don't vibrate. Here's negativity. Here's you vibing high out the gym. Some negative fuck comes up. Wes Watson, you're a bitch. You fuck your colon and lease, pussy. I'm like, what? <laughs> fuck, no, I'm kidding. No. And I'm, like, I'm just leaving. Just all, do, 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 do. They can't even get me. I'm up here. They can't get me. Right. Yeah. That that that's kind of what's my question. Yeah. Like, what if like you know someone like that? You know, just like completely someone. I don't, I don't vibrate. Like, if, if I get to a low frequency, I'm responsible. Mm -hmm. Men should be responsible. Women should be responsible with their internal state. If your frequency drops. You're about to start hating on motherfuckers. Like you're about, you're, it's gonna come out. Like if people don't get enough wins for themselves that day, they'll see all your losses. If they get a bunch of wins, they'll see all your wins. Cause That's nice. like the way we view the world is a confession of character, who you are at that moment. So who you are at that moment is what you're seeing. They say we only see our projected self on others. We don't really see people. We see our current state projected on others. That's why if uh, one of your homies is losing all day. He don't see how your business is ever going to work. There's no way. And da, da, da. But me, if you're like, 
I'm going to get ripped. If I saw you, I would only see how you should be more ripped, more rich, crushing it all day, never stopping. Because I'm seeing me on you. And I'm always in that mode. But when I, but in the middle of the day, if I break my diet and I say, fuck it, I'm going to go eat all these pancakes and shit. I'm just going to neck all this crazy food. The second I do that, I notice that now I'm not, now I'm upset with myself. I don't feel good about myself because I broke my plan. And now when I broke my plan, the way I view the world has changed. My perception has changed of everything. I'm mad at me. So I only see how much of a loser you're on, what you're not doing right. Now I'm on your case about it. And it's really me. It's really me dropping the ball and projecting that on you. Those who don't reflect, they project. And make sure you know what you're fucking feeling inside and that you're projecting that onto others. It's all else. Wow. Yeah, that, that was amazing. Yeah, really you know, you know, I, I break it down very simple. That's why people are like, how yeah. do you do all this stuff with your business? I'm like, I break down life topics very simple. Business is even easier. Like, I get a text message. I tell them how to sign up for the fucking program and they send me the money. And then I follow through on the fucking app that already has it set up in the forefront. And then we're on the Zoom call to really break it down for them. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I thank you for this opportunity to be able to get a, you know, a, a answer from a man of your status. Uh, I just want to ask, you know, you said basically that by 7 a.m. you have all your meals prepped and everything are in line to how you already have it set out. So what does your meals look like? Uh, and why oh me you... I, the way i would eat is completely different than most people should should eat i would have to look at someone's body and their goals and see how they should eat but i get my meals prepped from a company that sponsors me so everything is to the gram measured i just pull the top off microwave it people would say that's cheating but for the years before i didn't cheat the years before i meticulously figured out why my blueprint's so fucking good and why my my transformations on my page are the best I have the best transformations in fitness with people's physiques in record time. I mean, look at this shit. Look at this guy. This was five months. Oh, Damn. Damn. I have, I have a billion of these. If you go to my page, you'll laugh. You're like, there's no way this dude has this many just sickening transformations like that. Just crazy ones. Everyone says this dude looks like El Chapo. <laughs> that was like six months. He didn't get such a crazy six pack. But I have, I have some that are just so mind-blowing. It's crazy. Like, most of my transformations are just the top of the game. Like, this this is like 90 days or something. But it's just because I, I really understand what the fuck I'm doing. I comprehend it very well. Because for years in the penitentiary, I wrote down every fucking meal I ate for fucking years by hand. I mean, I've, I've done this shit for so fucking long. Join the 10-year plan if you want to be successful. And we're talking about on the smallest shit, committing your life to it. First thing first, I know I gotta be jacked to even like my life. What do I wanna do? Get some hot ass wife and not, what do I want some hot ass model and to not be a hot model myself? That's gonna fuck everything up. Fuck that. I'll be all insecure bitch ass motherfucker. Like, is she looking at these other guys? I've mean, gotta be looking at me, I'm fucking crushing it. Like everyone's setting themselves up for massive failure by not addressing themselves in every area. And then, then they just go with the excuses. It's too late. I can't do it. Da, da, da. It's like, yeah, with that attitude, you can't, you know, but everyone can. I mean, the whole thing is, is with the meals, the way I eat is completely different, but I would have someone eat balanced all throughout the day, balanced carbs, enough protein, low fat, and they would be shedding fat and building muscle fucking very quickly. I mean, basically drop two to three pounds a week of fat till I get the person shredded. And then I do take them through like a reverse diet where I put muscle back on them so that they end up like we, we will, I'll take the calories down to where I get them ripped. And then their metabolism is hampered from the calories coming down. So then I do what's called a reverse diet by increasing the caloric intake 10% weekly, which the, your calories are directly linked to your metabolism. So I increase the calories just 10%. And then the metabolism strengthens, 10%, strengthen, 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 strengthen. So then I can bring you back to a healthy amount of calories and muscular size without putting on any fat. Most people, they cut up and they're like, I just gained it all back. It's like, you didn't reverse that, you stupid idiot. You were eating fucking 1500 calories. So your metabolism was 1500 calories. What the fuck do you think was going to happen when you ate 3,500? Fuck, you ate, you ate 2000 extra a day. That was 14,000 extra a fucking week. 3,500 calories a pound. You gained seven pounds in the first week back. They just don't understand shit like I do. I break shit down into minute ass shit. Isolation causes oversimplification. 
I oversimplify everything because I was in isolation for a long time. Do you focus on gut health? Uh, I really just know that a lot of that shit comes from just trashing yourself. And if you just really eat clean for a while right. and you don't terrorize your body with horrible foods, everything comes back in line. People who do that stuff want like the quick results instead of like just yep. eating simple foods. I, I honestly really eat carnivore all day and then carb up when I need carbs. It gives me mental clarity. Like I don't, I don't tell anyone who's dropping fat to just start with carnivore, but if your body needs it, then you go all the way down there. But I would start most people off with a lot of carbs so that we keep, we could still build muscle as we dropped. And then I slowly chip it away, chip it away to how much they need. Some people would drop all their fat on the first set of macros I give them. Some people are going to need two and three and four adjustments. I have to tell by what their body's doing. But everything right. is to, to the individual. If, if, if you have guesswork on your plate, something that causes you pain in your body, and you can't connect that, you're a fucking idiot. You're a fucking moron. Like, what's on my plate right here? How is it making me fat? Like, you're not even questioning your biggest source of pain. How shit canned your body is. Like, you don't even want to take your shirt off. What's the point of making all the money if you can't sit on your out with your goddamn shirt off without feeling like you should wear a bra or a tube? <laughs> That's the goddamn point. <laughs> well, I'm going to get this yacht and I'm going to sit out there with pasties on my tits. Bro. Shit. Like, what is the fucking point? So you better, take the, you better get the body in line before you get the money. Because most of the guys who have the money can't get the body in check after. They're too weak. They're too comfortable. They ain't Wes Watson. They'll fucking they'll sell out for a bottle and to look cool before they actually feel good about themselves. 